aftermarket rims are getting lighter and lighter right now. And then if you guys are looking for sport rims and you've done some research, all these terms like flow form rim, flow forge, and forge rims, you guys will be quite familiar with right, right now. So a lot of rim manufacturers currently are introducing a lot of lightweight rims. So what exactly is lightweight rims? What's the benefit for lightweight rims? And then is lightweight rims suitable for my car? Let's talk about this in this video. So before we talk about what is the benefit of lightweight rims, you guys need to understand what is sprung weight and unsprung weight. So sprung weight basically means the weight carried by your suspension system and then the unsprung weight will mean the opposite. Generally speaking, uh, the car requires more energy to accelerate and decelerate unsprung weight rather than sprung weight. So that's why it's in great interest of those car performers, car racers, to reduce as much unsprung weight as much as possible. So since we are talking about sport rims, by reducing your rim weight, you are basically reducing the unsprung, uh, unsprung weight. So just now I did mention that the car generally requires more energy to accelerate unsprung weight. And then since rim weight is one of the uh, unsprung weight. So by using a lighter weight rims, you are directly translate that your car will have a better pickup. And then in the long run, a better fuel consumption. And then since you are since you are using a lightweight, we are using the rim weight, it has less burden onto your bearing system and your suspension system as well. Acceleration is not the only part of it. Deceleration play a very important part as well. So generally speaking, the car requires more energy to re de decelerate unsprung weight. So by using a lighter weight rims, it means that your car can brake better and then it has less burden on your braking system. So when you want to modify the car to have a better performance, so by changing the set of lighter rim, you have a better cost to benefit or what we say value for money compared to another kind of mod. Uh, modifications such as maybe changing your, your car roof, uh, maybe your engine hood or your door panel to a carbon fiber. Those also are kind of uh, reducing weight of the car. But by reducing the unsprung weight, it has more benefit, significant benefit compared to sprung weight. Jeff, isn't that if I use a heavier rims, my car will be more stable? Uh, not really the case. The rim weight has really minimum contribution to your car stability. Factors like tire width, your car suspension system, the car center of gravity, and your car aerodynamics has a lot more to do with your stability rather than the rim weight. But Jeff, isn't that if I use a lighter rims, my rims easier to dent? Not really. Because right now, we have a lot of flow force rims in the market. As, as you know, 90% of the dent happen at the barrel of the rims. And then, flow force rim has stronger molecular structure at the barrel itself. It means that if you go to pothole, flow force rims has less tendency to dent compared to cast rims. So in conclusion, changing a set of lightweight rims or not is really entirely up to you. If you're a person who really wants the best performance for your car, Changing a set of lightweight rims is probably one of the best investments that you can do. However, if you are a daily driver, understand that the weight reduction really does not affect you a lot. At the end of the day, changing a set of rims is a form of self-expression. If you want to be unique and if you want to stand out from the rest, changing a set of rims is probably good for you. Thank you guys for watching. i see you guys in the next video.